Hi coaches, I'm here today to talk to you about something that we get every single day in our lives, objections. Objections and rejections, but mainly objections. Okay, so no matter what you're inviting to, let's just put it out there right away. You are going to be told no. And guess what? That's okay. The more you're told no, the easier it is to just brush it off. So whether you're inviting to the coaching opportunity, you can get objections like, I'm sorry, I have a full-time job. I'm too busy with my kids. Is it a pyramid scheme? There's all these objections. Whether you're inviting to um, someone to join your challenge group. I don't have time. Um, I don't want to spend the money. I don't think it will work for me. There are objections. Or whether you're even inviting to a free group, some people just don't want to do it. Now, the most important thing about these objections, the common ground for them all is that, especially with like a challenge group or free group, maybe not with the coaching opportunity as much, is that sometimes people aren't ready to start their journey. And so remember that when they tell you no, it's not necessarily a no. It's a not right now. Even to the coaching opportunity, I've invited some people for a year. I'm like, you'd be an awesome coach. Please sign up with me. And they tell me no over and over and over again. And then one day out of the blue, when I haven't talked to them for a month, they'll come and say, okay, now I'm ready. And I always let them know that when they are ready to start, whether it be a free group, whether it be a program, whether it be a coaching, start coaching with me, I always let them know that I'm here. And I will check back in with them if that's okay, but I will not harass them. Um, and I say that. I say that in all my messages. That I hope I, I hope you don't think I'm harassing you because I don't. That's not my intention. Because if you put it out there and you remember that this is not about selling a product, this is about changing a life. Then you know what? If they're not ready, it's okay. Whether they're ready to coach or for your group or join a challenge group, whatever it is. Okay. Next, when you do get those objections, how do you handle them? Well, first of all, I want you to know your market. I want you to know who you're talking to. I want you to go to that person's Facebook page, learn about them. This whole business is built off of building relationships. Know your market. Know if they have children, know if they just went on vacation, know if they have a dog. And don't start your message off, um, okay, it's too expensive, that's fine, goodbye. No, say, hey, oh my gosh, I saw your kid today. It was so funny, I can't believe he was walking around in high heels and was calling himself Minnie Mouse and he's a three-year-old boy. Um, yeah, that happened, that was my kid today. So if someone started off the message like that to me, I'd be like, oh my gosh, okay, what do they have to say? Because then you actually care about me. Um, on the other flip side, if you get messages like, hey, did you see that new recipe I posted? Um, you should check it out because I saw those ingredients. You might not want to immediately talk to that person because they don't care about you. They only care about the product they're selling. And that is not what we do as coaches. So know your market. Know who you're talking to. And talk to them. Ask questions about themselves as well. Number two, make your response fun. Make it lighthearted. You know, yes, you got rejected or you got an objection. That's fine. But don't, shut, don't let it shut you down and you run away from talking to that person. You have to add in those LOLs, those ha ha, um, and the smiley faces, exclamation points, all those things because you can't feel my passion when I'm just writing on a message. You can't feel my conviction for what I believe in if I'm just writing on a message. The only way I can make you feel that is by adding those smiley faces and all those laughing tear faces because I think that guy's so funny. Um, but that's, you have to add those in because then they can feel your personality through your writing. And number three is feel felt found. You'll find this all over the Beachbody website. You'll find this in tons of trainings. It is awesome. Basically, when someone gives you an objection, you start out with, you know, I used to feel the same way. Say, Shakeology is too expensive. I used to feel the same way, because I did when I started, and I'm not lying, I did before I started. I used to feel the same way. Well, I felt like after I gave it a shot for a month, that it actually added value to my life. And I found that if I worked it into my grocery budget, because technically it's 30 days of meals, it was cheaper than what I was spending on my Starbucks or just stopping to grab a sandwich or whatever it is, is your vice or that thing that you do that spends five, six, seven, eight dollars. It was cheaper than that for me. So I used to feel the same way. I felt differently after I tried it for a month, and I found that I was actually saving money. True story, saving money 
because I'm drinking Shakeology, because it actually curbs my cravings. I don't eat junk food, so we don't have that in the house. And it makes a huge difference because then, again, you're building that relationship. You're telling them that you used to feel the same way before you started. You, I felt that it was inexpensive. So use that. Feel, felt, found. So you're actually justifying their objection with how you used to feel as well. Okay. I swear I'm done. I like to keep these training videos as much as I can around five minutes. So I'm going to let you guys go. Definitely, definitely rewatch this video if you need to. It is so helpful. And remind yourself that if people aren't ready or if they say no, it's just because they aren't ready right now. So it's not a no. It's a not right now. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.